Okay, that's enough. Those are some pretty sweet moves. You're looking good out there. No, it's still not enough. I'm gonna need better punches if I'm gonna knock him down. Oh? I'll see you later. I'm gonna do a little more road work. All right. If Makanouchi were the same fighter as when I first met him, I'd be in perfectly good shape to face him right now. But he's not. He's grown. He won't fall so easily anymore. He's an entirely different boxer than the one I saw a year ago. It's hard to believe a year has already passed. I remember the first time I saw him. He was vying for the title of Rookie of the Year against Takeshi Sendo. It was East versus West with no losses on either side. Sendo was known as Rocky of Naniwa, and his opponent was a young man who battled his way through the Eastern Japan Rookie of the Year tournament by scoring a string of stunning KOs. He was Ippo Makanouchi. It was a clash between fighters with tremendous heart. Both of them hard punchers who were getting a lot of buzz, and it evolved into something superb. Sendo charged in to deliver a smash, but that didn't stop Makanouchi. He fought back with a short upper. It had us all on the edge of our seats. It doesn't hurt! It doesn't hurt! It doesn't hurt! You're going down! The match turned into a free-for-all, a relentless exchange of punches. Both opponents pulled out the deadliest weapons in their arsenals. And then... Huh? What on earth is going on? In a sudden, unexpected turn of events, the referee just signaled that the match is over! The match was abruptly decided in Makanouchi's favor. However, either man could have easily won. As hard as it is to believe, apparently Sendo is unconscious! Naturally, his skills were relatively raw and undeveloped back then. So, as you might imagine, I didn't see him as a real threat. However, after I saw the way he triumphed in that incredible match, his name became indelibly etched in my mind. And when I attended another fight a month later, I finally had a chance to meet him face to face. Huh? Sorry, I forgot you can't use that hand. Uh... Oh... Uh, um, thanks. <laughs> oh yeah, it's Geezer! Hmm? Huh? When I first came in here, you called this little guy cute, didn't you? The punches he throws aren't so adorable. Please, Mr. Takamura, don't say things like that. Let's see. Being Rookie of the Year ranks you 10th. If you manage to rise in the ranks without a hitch, it's possible we could fight. <laughs> hey, I've got an idea. I've been wanting to do my fine-tuning with someone who could really put me to the test before my next fight. Oh? Once your fist heals, drop by my gym to see me. We'll do a little sparring. Huh? Later. I realized he'd make a perfect sparring partner as I prepared for my next title defense. Sure, it was mostly about doing some fine-tuning, but I also wanted to learn more about his strengths and weaknesses. He's fast! I gotta be careful not to telegraph my moves! I got it backwards! It's a right! I controlled it! Now return with a left! He shook me off with sheer force! I have to lash out! He's within striking distance! I have to lash out! As expected, he turned out to be an exceptionally gifted fighter. 
And even though the power of his single blow and the speed of his dart and dash were still unrefined, I could tell they had great potential. But ultimately, above and beyond his physical talents, the thing that impressed me most was his strength of mind. His fighting spirit. The corkscrew? <laughs> I delivered my secret weapon, the Corkscrew Heartbreaker Punch. And even after taking so many brutal hits, he somehow found a way to get back on his feet. What an incredible fighter! The bell rang. You can stop. Thank you so much for the great fight. <sighs> After seeing this kid get up no matter how many times I knocked him down, I had a premonition. I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that I would someday have to fight him in the ring. And I knew something else. A victory in this fight would not come easily. Ippo Makano Uchi. Ranked 10th in the featherweight class. 10th ranked, huh? In his next matchup, he fought Okita, a promising fighter. We both trained at the same gym. It promised to be a showdown between this and last year's Rookie of the Year. But once it began, you could clearly see a difference between them. A critical difference in attitude. A left! His right guard's wide open! He fell for it! That left fate pulled Makanouchi to the right, leaving him open for... The difference was that Okita was simply trying to catch up to me out of hero worship. And Makanouchi was trying to overtake me in his quest for the ultimate prize. There was only a slight difference in power between Okita, who could also throw the corkscrew, and Makanouchi. However, the difference in attitude, that difference in heart, determined the winner. Makanouchi had triumphed again. This all happened during the time I was defending my national title and preparing to move on to the world championship. I even considered returning the Japanese title. But something held me back. I just didn't like the idea of moving on to the world title without fighting a match against him first. The second place contender charges with all his might! Huh? Right to the chest! Huh? Something's wrong with Suzuki! He stopped moving! He follows with the left of the jaw! Oh. Three knockdowns! The match is over! The champion has made short work of the challenger and his second rank position! He fought like a champion! I wish I didn't see this. And now for an interview with tonight's winner. Congratulations on an amazing match. You sure make winning look easy. There's been a lot of talk about you returning your title within the year in order to re-challenge the world title. Has this victory paved the way for that to happen? <sighs> no, I won't return the title. The world can wait for now. I still have unfinished business right here in this country. Business that I'm gonna settle first. Excuse me, champion, um... And then, as if in response to my challenge, it was determined that Makanouchi would have a chance to compete in the A-Class tournament. The A-Class is a high-level tournament in which only the top-ranked boxers can participate. The men who come out on top are given priority rights to challenge for the national title. That's right. They earn the right to challenge me. Makanouchi's first matchup in the A-Class tournament was against Saeki, a lightning-fast fighter known as the Speed Star. Wow, would you look at those hits, Saeki? Saeki went on the attack with precise footwork and a super-fast hit-and-run. He definitely has amazing punches, but that's only if they connect. Yeah. Uh, 
Not again! Makanouchi didn't have much time to train for this match. And Saiki's speed and dexterity wound up overwhelming him. One punch! Ugh. Just one punch! He had absolutely no answer for Speedstar's attack. Saiki completely dominated the match right from the start. Even if I can't see him, he'll be there. I know I'll find him. But Makanouchi found a way to turn one of Saiki's strengths, his perfectly timed footwork, into a weakness. And he finally managed to do the impossible. He landed a punch. One single brutal punch. Right there! It was only one punch, but it was enough to get into Saiki's head. Now he was afraid. His dazzling footwork ground to a halt. I don't get it. How does it keep hitting me? It was a classic reverse KO victory for Makunouchi. And that huge victory advanced him to the final of the illustrious A-Class Tournament. If he could win just one more match, he'd be given the right to challenge the national title. Mr. Date, did you watch me fight just now? I caught the whole spectacle. Craziest match I've ever seen. I guess it was. Oh well, since you're not going to be my next opponent, I will say congratulations. Oh, thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. Come on, it's starting! You want to see your next opponent, don't you? But someone was standing in his way. It was a fighter from Russia, Vorg Zangiev. As the amateur world champ, Vorg had a stunning record of 400 victories and no losses. What power! With one blow, he forced Suzuki to retreat! Oh, whoa, that hard jab is great! His speed, his balance, his power, they're all flawless. Now it's time for me to win! Vorg is hit and hit hard! Suzuki has taken control with his heavy hitting! That's a great way to put the pressure on. And it's even more effective because he doesn't give a damn about looks. But something's wrong, I feel it. Huh? Look, his corner man hasn't budged. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> a simultaneous hit! That's right. Vorg wasn't just confined to amateur techniques. He had a power at close range that couldn't be stopped by rough tactics. And he had something else. The primal fighting instinct of a wolf. It's a clean hit! Hey, stop the fight! Ooh. The fight's over! They're thrown in the towel! Huh? Ah! Alright, that's enough! I can't believe he defeated him faster than Mr. Date! Huh? Technique, combat ability, Vorg had it all. I couldn't find a weak spot in either of these categories. Makanouchi began to train for the match. He was fortunate enough to be working with Chief Kamogawa, who's well known as one of Japan's top trainers. However, as powerful as Makanouchi was, he only had a ghost of a chance of defeating Vorg. Even I believe this was true. We've been waiting for this, Makanouchi! Flag him for us! The match began with a powerful exchange of punches. To his credit, he managed to keep up with Vorg's speed, but he was completely shut down by the young Russian's superior technique. Makanouji throws a left! A left! This is no good. What's wrong? And then, to just about everybody's surprise, Vorg was the first to be knocked down. For a moment, he seemed to be in serious danger of losing, but then he quickly recovered. I already saw you throw that punch! Now it's your turn to watch! The knockdown transformed him into a wild, bloodthirsty wolf, and he lashed out with a vicious attack. Ah, now it begins. The White Fang! Canine kills that attack in packs! They rip through skin, tear flesh, and snap through bone. Watch it, kid! And they always bring down their prey. <laughs> it's coming from below. I can't stop it. 
The White Fang. A swift combination blow that attacks simultaneously from above and below. Vord delivered his extremely powerful counterattack after completely neutralizing Makanouji's secret weapon for the fight. The Gazelle Punch. Vord scored on two levels. He stopped the secret weapon, and he made a statement that he was the one with the dominant skills. Makanouji was in deep trouble. He had no more weapons left in his arsenal. At least, that's what everyone thought. But this gutsy young man didn't give up. He kept on fighting a seemingly hopeless battle against a powerful warrior. What an exchange of punches! Borg unleashes a ruthless barrage, trying to penetrate Makanouji's guard! He's looking for one punch to connect! The battle on the ropes continues! There it is! It's finally here! Kid! Clench your fists! If you have the strength to clench him, do it and go after him now! However, the Chief had devised a brilliant long-range plan. Even an outstanding amateur fighter like Vorg would eventually become exhausted in the professional ring. Makanouchi assaulted him with devastating punches when he became so tired he could no longer move his legs. Makanouchi wails into him with what has become his trademark reversal. This style of attack is what has earned him an amazing nine straight wins. Gah! Borg goes down! He is down! Stop! Get to your corner! He has turned this match around on a dime! But after all that punishment, Vorg still got back on his feet. I'm strong now, aren't I, Mama? These two young men were waging a death match that drove them to their very limits. And then... That's no attack stance. I get the feeling that they've braced their legs like that for support. It's the only thing that's keeping them from falling over. <laughs> He's starting to run out of oxygen. Hang in there. This match is going to be won by the man with the stronger lungs. Don't stop, for I can't breathe. I'm suffocating! Oh, All right! Landing hard to Makanouji's face! <laughs> Boar gets into position to deliver a white fang! <laughs> this is the very last shred of power I have in me! Ah! <laughs> 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 All the power of his combination has been drained away by exhaustion! I can't do it! I can't hold my breath any longer! Gazelle Punch! Punch came out of nowhere, and Borg is down for the count! Whoa. The count begins! Has this match finally been decided? <sighs> Borg's on Three. one knee! He's not moving at all! Four. I can't fight anymore! Five! <clears throat> ah! Yeah. He's up! Borg is back on his feet! If I can just raise my hands... I Summer. can still fight! It can't be over! <sighs> Nine! <clears throat> He's counted out! The match is over! I did it! 
cheat. I did it. I can't believe it. I did it. I won. Despite all odds, Makanuchi was the winner. He gave every ounce of strength and heart he had to earn the right to challenge me for the national title. Okita, huh? I want to spar. Help me out. Uh, sure. Makanouchi is now in my world. And there's no doubt. He's my most powerful challenger ever. But that doesn't matter. I'll never give him the championship belt. Date? You ready? He's good to go now. I will defeat Makanouchi. And when I do, that will prove to the world that I am the champion. who retired for any reason returns to active boxing it's incredibly hard to combat age reclaim the title and catch up to the competition all while maintaining peak strength but he came back all I can do is use everything I have to challenge him after all I made it my goal to fight this man next round so that I can be myself <laughs> 